Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition. Got a case knife today. I don't do many of these. I've had this one for far too long. JR sent it to me. Man, that, that sheath, that leather sheath is just gorgeous. Now, I'm in my 50s, so growing up, 70s and 80s, all the guys had these, the older, younger, whatever, and I adore it. I'm going to wear the thing so you can see how it fits, but let's take a look at the knife. Now, again, this was sent to me by JR. It's the case, and I'm dirty. That's that's because I work, and everybody will be okay. So we got two blades right here. First one is kind of that clip. Well, it's not kind. It's that clip point. Good looking thing right there. And I absolutely adore. Now, this is a slip joint. It's a large slip joint knife. But look at that grip right here. We're going to do this video. I'm not narrating. We're just going to talk as we go. Try to get through it without it being a damn 30 minute video. But you know what? If it is, it is. People only watch about three damn minutes anyway. Some bitch, thank you, Megatron. Some bitch is absolutely razor sharp. There's that blade. I'll pick that up in a minute, Megatron. Now let's look at this spay blade. So here's the deal, guys. Blackie Thomas does one of the best jobs. I think that's a splay. If I'm wrong, I'm sure that that everyone who knows better than me will correct me. I believe it's a spay. Blackie Thomas does one of the best jobs kind of going over good uses for this knife. And if I'm not mistaken, Tom Ritter actually used a spay type blade to save his doggy's life. The collar was on too tight, couldn't get it on. And he remembered Blackie Thomas talking about this blade. If, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's correct. And the dog was choking to death and Tom was able to use that spay blade, cut that collar off. And, and so I always think of that when I see this blade. Let's check the sharpness again. Handle feels phenomenal. It is a case double X. And JR, if you remember what the what actual name, man, if you'll put it in the comments, and I am sorry. I, 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 this knife, I really love. These knives remind me so much of my grandfather. He, he always said, now he carried an, an old timer, but it was always a two bladed knife this size. That blade's super damn sharp as well. Let's go outside. Let's cut some things up. I absolutely adore it. Let me give you a look at the knife. Blades folded in. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Last segment we'll do, man, is we'll sit down and pull some measurements. Let's go out. Well, guys, the best laid plans go to shit, especially with old scab. As soon as I walked outside, three things happened. One is the dog started barking. Two is cars started coming by. Three is I realized that I had my microphone shoved down my throat and you could literally hear every breath I took. So I'm going to narrate about six or seven minutes of this and everything happens for a reason. I, I got some information on the knife. Super excited. Big thanks again to JR for sending it. This is the case 6.5 Bone Stag Folding Hunter. It's made from true sharp surgical steel. And the style, the blade style, I was right on one. Of course, it's the clip point there. But it's called a Skinner. Once I looked up, now what I did as soon as I realized I'd screwed up my audio, I started doing more research, and usually I do that after a video, but here's the thing, man. You can't be as wrong as I was going to be throughout this video. Now, the last couple of segments, the audio is good. I think I might call that a spay blade, and some people may. Um, I was fascinated by what a spay blade is, and, and we'll dive into that for just a second. Um, it's S-P-E-Y. Now, if you knew this, and most of you will, because my subscribers know everything and I love you for it, I, I, I had a feeling why it was named that. It was actually made to spay or neuter farm animals without hurting them, without puncturing them. And so once I kind of found that out, I knew that, that having any kind of tip, this wasn't a true spay, but it's called a Skinner blade. And, and again, for those of you who knew, I apologize. This whole thing is a learning curve with me now it is bone stag handle um, which i absolutely adore we're going to do some cutting I, I must apologize to you for the audio okay i like having the birds in the background the sounds in the background that kind of thing but the truth is i, I listen to it and I, I if i can't stand hearing myself breathe you wouldn't 
And and it reminded me of a night one time when Megatron was sleepwalking. Scott. I won't tell the story. I'm getting the eye, so I better not tell it. Let's do this instead. Before we deep dive this video, <laughs> there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, stats are everywhere. The real numbers between 15 and 29, which is just amazing. We're talking about every day here. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. And all that means, man, is vets. We love you. You have a place here. I back the blue over here. I support Leo. Now, not everybody does. And I totally understand that. And guys, these causes, these three causes are mine. They have nothing to do with one another or they don't really correspond with one another. They're just on my heart. I understand not everybody backs the blue. I really do. Um, I'm not going to argue with you about it. I have my reasons that I've stated. I've got 5,000 videos and probably have stated my reason in at least 1,000 of those. That being said, how do you do it? Okay, well, I try not to break the damn law. I mess up from time to time. And when I do, I try to accept responsibility. And finally, 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 if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So we're showing the balance point here. This is just a well-made knife, guys. I, I, I'm just going to tell you, the beautiful thing about doing this channel for me, for me, is getting to play with all kinds of different knives. And, and the fact is not lost on me at all that I am very, very blessed. Now, let's talk about a couple things. One is that clip point I love. I adore it. It's more of an American traditional. We're shaving up. Well, basically, we're, we're stripping wire there. Now, with a skinning blade, that's what it's used for. Um, I'm not going to skin anything on the channel, but we are going to do some different kind of cutting with it. And one thing that I try to stress, guys, if you're new here, is simply this. I cut a lot of industrial materials, and I fully understand that not everybody works in that environment. But I kind of look at it like this, man. If I can cut these materials that are tough, that are hard to cut, that are still belted, or they're, they're heavily stitched, then that can translate over to whatever you want to cut. Now, the truth is, on a knife like this, you can do literally whatever you wanted to do. It is a hunting, it, it, it's called the Bone Stag Folding Hunter knife, right? So it, it's purposely designed for that. You've got a clip point, which is multi-purpose. Multi You've got a skinning blade there. And you can see that skinning blade is super damn sharp. The thing is this, guys, it's insanely comfortable in hand. And I've said that many times. It's just with knives like this, when I'm doing these videos, even though I've had this knife for a while and I've picked it up and I've messed with it, when you really, really begin to use a knife and you really start to see all the nuances of that knife, the more impressed I become. The overall quality is phenomenal. Let me just say this. I know it's called the K6.5. Let me give you some quick stats. Got a couple minutes left, and then I'm going to let the original audio pick back up. The overall length. Now, I've got the, I've got the clip point blade open. The overall length with the clip point blade open is nine and a quarter. That blade length is four inches, I believe. Yes, it's four inches with a three and three quarter cutting edge. Now, here's the deal with a four-inch blade. I know here in the state of Florida, um, anything you can have anything concealed up to four and a half inches, so this would do well. I would always recommend you guys knowing your state laws. That's a big thing. The handle length or the knife closed is five and a quarter inches. The inner grip on that is going to be five and a quarter inches. I'm telling you, this damn knife could fit anybody's hand. The thickness is 0.06 Let's get, let's get that Skinner blade out, and I'll give you some specs on that. Again, I just absolutely love this knife. All right, so the blade length on the Skinner is going to be right at four inches, okay? And again, the cutting edge, three and three quarter, no, three, three and five eighths on that. Everything about this blade, I love. I like the size of the blades, both of them. I like the handle shape it really contours to the hand and again and again the the pull on it or i might not have mentioned the pull yet the pull is like a light to a medium but i prefer that 
the older I get, the more banged up my hands get, the more that I enjoy. Just kind of, it doesn't have to be super light, and this one's not. It's a good medium. I like that, so it's easy to open, easy to close. I love, 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 love the leather case. I didn't stab anything with this, with it being a slip joint. It, you know, if you're going to do some real stabbing, that material is going to be soft. I don't have anything really to replicate that, so I didn't want it to fold on me. All right, guys, I'm going to let, let the audio pick back up. Thank you for your patience. I love y'all. Scab, take it away. All right, guys, let's see if this is going to work. I apologize about that again. I'm hoping I can at least get this one on. We're going to use the clip point. One more. The damn knife is sharp as shit. It really, really is. Both blades, which is nice. The handle feels tremendous in hand. That was brilliant. So let's get out this blade. <clears throat> now, right here, this is kind of where you can just slide this blade under just like that. We can get two. And we're going to be careful because it is a slippy. Bam, bam. And again, this is not a sharpness thing. It's just to make sure there's no chipping, rolling, whatever. Very, very tough knife. Again, guys, I love this thing, and I do apologize about the audio. Hopefully, the narrating didn't really mess it up too bad. I hate this time change where it's getting darker on us. There's some tough-ass rope right there. This is just some of that nylon ski rope, tie rope. Um, we use it at work some to pull balconies up buildings and whatnot, balcony rails, I should say. This knife's not going to have any single problem with it. The comfort and the ease of pulling out, like the nick clip and all that stuff, if you look there, just really nice in hand. Feels good, fills up the hand, and again, comes razor sharp, fit and finish is spot on. Really, really digging this thing, man. We'll do it one more time just because I like cutting shit. One to grow on. I knew I was going to do that. We're going to do a sheet of printer paper. Still a pretty damn good edge on it. The truth is, the truth is, guys, after these videos, we're usually like a, a decent stropping away from being back to razor sharp when they start off razor sharp. We didn't cut as much in this video. We cut a good bit, and I feel like we've got a real good feel for the knife. But what I wanted to do is this, do a few paper cuts, and all that is, all the paper cut thing is, is just to show us where the edge is at. Now, what we're gonna start finishing with, I've got two pieces of lighter knot right here. So we're gonna do just a couple quick shavings and just see how it does overall. I love the size of the handle. I love the blade choices. Now, it's either a two-blade trapper or two-blade stockman. Um, I'm not sure. Y'all know that my slip joint pocket knife acumen isn't very high. So, we'll, we'll do some more research because I love the knife. Again, both blades are super sharp. And that comes down to age, not age, edge geometry. And that kind of thing. And, and it's no different here. I like cutting the paper and then going to this for a couple of reasons. One is it shows we still got an edge. But every now and then, guys, especially cutting all that steel belted stuff, you're not going to have that hair popping sharp razor edge. You're just not. It doesn't make shit. Who heat treats it, whatever. Those materials are hard. So I don't want anybody to think, well, it's not cutting paper. It's not sharp. And you can see here clearly... We're getting a lot of little curly cues. And this stuff right here, light or not, I've said it a million times, it's the fire starter of the gods. You can start it. You could soak this in water, pull it out, put flame to it, and within a matter of probably less than a minute, you got a fire. I highly suggest everybody finding some. If you've got a source of it, whether it's Douglas fir, pine, etc., find you some light or not, some fat wood, whatever you want to call it, and just get you up a bag of it. I'm going to Blackie's middle of November. And I got my bag right here. And again, guys, I know this is a longer video and I'd love to tell you, I'm sorry, I'm not. It's just when we do these type of videos with this type of in the moment stuff, it just takes a little longer. And who, who the hell wants to, you know, miss a good old scab video anyway. All right, so the spade blade 
if that's what this is, and I believe it that it is, still has a hell of an edge on it. You can see we got a lot of curly cues. Let's go to that clip point. It's got a, a, a pretty good pull. I'd say it's got a medium pull on it. Hell, it might be a light medium pull, which I like. I personally like. With a slip joint, I always remember that it is a slip joint, so you want to be extra careful. All a slip joint is, or all a folding knife is, is a, is a fixed blade that's broken. So if you treat it in that regard and learn the knife, you know, now this blade is really getting down with it, but again, both blades are used for specific, specifically different purposes. And I love them both. Yeah, this thing's shaving it up. And, you know, it's a different piece of light or not. That's why it's so hard to compare things like that. Anyway, super sharp. Love it, JR, man. I appreciate you. The leather case. That's just a damn good looking knife, man. And even if you use it, some bitch just kind of riding around on your hip for peeling an apple, opening letters, whatever. It's still a piece of uh, Americana. It's still badass. Guys, I love y'all. God knows I do. God bless you. I hope he does. Uh, if you're not into that thing, well... May the universe give you a handy. I'm Scab. You're not. I'm gone.